Imagine a factory so large it dwarfs entire cities. One that builds a new car every 30 seconds around the clock. This isn't science fiction. It's BYD's new electric vehicle mega factory in Zhengzhou, China. Spanning an area of 130 square kilometers, yes, bigger than San Francisco, this isn't just a production facility. It's an entire industrial city. With the capacity to produce a million electric vehicles a year, this factory marks a bold new phase in BYD's ambition to become the dominant force in the global EV market. But to understand how we got here, we need to go back to where it all began. BYD started in 1995, not as a car company, but as a battery manufacturer. Specifically, it made rechargeable batteries for mobile phones. It wasn't glamorous, but it was smart. Battery tech was heating up, and BYD quickly became one of the largest suppliers globally. Then, in 2003, the company made a daring move. It bought Xi'an Qinchuan, a struggling state-owned car manufacturer. Critics laughed. A battery company making cars? But the founder, Wang Chuanfu, wasn't joking. He saw the future of mobility as electric and wanted to build it from the ground up. BYD entered the automotive market slowly, first with gasoline vehicles, then hybrids. By 2022, it had stopped producing internal combustion engine cars entirely. Today, all of BYD's output is electric or hybrid, and that gamble paid off. In 2024, BYD reported $107 billion in revenue, pulling ahead of Tesla in global EV sales. This brings us to Zhengzhou, ground zero for BYD's next big leap. Located in Hunan province, the Zhengzhou Mega Factory stretches across 130 square kilometers, larger than Manhattan. It's being developed in eight phases. As of mid-2025, five of those phases are fully operational, with the rest scheduled for completion by the end of the year. The plant includes 16 AI-driven production lines, where robots and algorithms handle everything from frame welding to battery installation. The scale is hard to overstate. At peak operation, the factory can produce over one million vehicles annually. That's nearly two cars every minute, non-stop. It's not just about volume, though. Quality control is built into every stage with sensors and AI monitoring thousands of variables in real time. Most car companies rely on a web of suppliers for key components. BYD took a different path. It manufactures nearly every major EV part in-house. Batteries, motors, power electronics, semiconductors, even chips. This vertical integration gives BYD a major edge. It reduces transportation costs, ensures tighter quality control, and makes pricing more competitive. When global supply chains cracked under pressure in 2020 and 2021, BYD kept delivering. That reliability turned heads in the industry and helped cement its reputation as a serious EV contender. One of BYD's most important innovations is the blade battery. Instead of bulky cells, it uses thin, flat lithium iron phosphate blades that are stacked together like books on a shelf. This design is safer, it doesn't catch fire as easily, and it keeps the car cooler, lighter, and cheaper to produce. The blade battery is made right at the Zhengzhou plant. It powers models like the SEAL, Dolphin, and Auto 3, all of which have become hits in markets across Europe and Asia. And it's just the beginning. BYD is now developing a solid-state version that could offer up to 800 kilometers of range and recharge in just 10 minutes. This isn't just a workplace. It's a community. More than 60,000 people live and work on the Zhengzhou campus. There are apartment complexes, schools, gyms, sports fields, even a shopping mall. BYD designed the site not just for efficiency, but for retention. Happy workers are productive workers, and keeping talent close to the production line helps avoid costly delays. This city-within-a-city city model also reflects BYD's long-term strategy. Treat manufacturing like an ecosystem, not just an assembly line. Zhengzhou isn't just any city. 
It sits at the heart of China's national logistics grid. Highways, freight rail lines, and high-speed trains all converge here. Most importantly, there's a direct rail link to the port of Shanghai that slashes transportation time and costs by 20%. The area is also rich in critical materials. Lithium, nickel, and rare earth elements are mined nearby, cutting down reliance on imports and further streamlining production. It's no accident that BYD picked Zhengzhou. It's a textbook example of logistical efficiency meeting industrial scale. Even with Zhengzhou humming, BYD isn't putting all its eggs in one basket. The company holds mining rights in Chile and Zimbabwe to secure its lithium needs. It's also building new factories in Hungary and Brazil, part of a strategy to get closer to key markets and sidestep tariffs or geopolitical restrictions. This global footprint gives BYD flexibility and resilience. It also positions the company to supply not just cars, but batteries and components to other automakers. That turns competitors into clients and makes BYD indispensable to the EV transition. Sustainability is baked into the Zhengzhou plant's design. Over a million square feet of solar panels line the rooftops. A closed-loop water recycling system cuts water use by 40%. The factory avoids around 120,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year. On the automation front, robots handle everything from body assembly to final inspections. AI algorithms monitor component performance and predict maintenance needs before breakdowns occur. It's manufacturing at machine precision and planetary scale. BYD's cars, like the Dolphin and the Seal, are already being shipped around the world. By 2026, the Zhengzhou factory alone may account for up to 25% of all EV sales globally. That's a staggering figure. BYD is also planning to double its workforce here to 200,000, a population on par with a small city. All told, the factory represents more than $10 billion in investment. Some of it comes from government support, but much of it is internally financed. This level of self-reliance is rare, and it speaks to the strength of BYD's business model. What BYD has built in Zhengzhou is more than a factory. It's a vision of what the future of industrial production could look like – sustainable, automated, and vertically integrated. As countries race to scale up their EV industries, they'll be looking closely at what BYD has done here. Is this the blueprint for the next generation of manufacturing? Tell us what you think in the comments. And if you enjoy deep dives into the engineering and economics shaping our world, hit that like button, subscribe, and stick around for more stories that matter.